30 single ladies from across Ireland, all with one thing on their mind, men. I'm looking for a guy that's decent, not afraid to get into a scrap and not afraid to get his hands dirty. My ideal guy would have a big bulge in his pocket, his wallet. I'm here to mix, mingle and find myself a date. But do our single boys have what it takes to turn these girls on and win themselves a date? This is Take Me Out. gentlemen and welcome to a brand new series of Take Me Out. What's going on? I thought I was done. I thought everyone lived happily ever after after the last series, but no. Just when you'd think you're out, they drag you back in. 30 more girls showed up and said, Ray, please help us. We need men too. And since this is the show where I find love for 30 single girls, how could I refuse? So I said, OK, come along. And they did. And now they're here. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to bring on the girls! Welcome, ladies. Hello, girls. Hello, buddy. Oh, nice one. Hello to all my new girls for a brand new series. Getting to know you, and welcome to the show, Catherine. What can I do for you? Are you looking for a man? I'm looking for a man. Mm? Yeah. Tall, what kind of man? Dark, handsome, mm? stocky. St stocky? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want a chunky, tall, oh. dark, handsome? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Personality? Yeah. Doesn't matter. No. No? no. Well, he has one or not? I don't, I don't care. I'll just look at him okay. for a while. Fair, fair enough. Jackie. Hi, Foley. Hello, Jackie. Where <laughs> Hello, are you from? Foley. From South Africa originally. Okay. And yeah. are you working here? Or? I'm living in Dublin. I'm working in Dublin. Yeah. Okay. How long, are, uh, uh, how long are you here? I've been here a year and a half. Okay. And um, as things are at the moment, I'm planning to stay. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. So, Irish men. You're, are you stuck for a date with an Irish boy or what? I'd like to meet. Um, it doesn't matter to me if he's Irish or any, you know, nationality. It doesn't really matter. If they're like a good guy, a nice big strong man, like a rugby player. Like oh, okay, that. right. Yeah. Are you a rugby fan? I'm a rugby fan, yeah. Okay, so... Blue Bulls. Um, part, pardon? Blue Bulls. Blue Bulls. South Africa. You, blue Bulls. <laughs> what? Bulls. The blue... Blue Bulls. Blue, blue Bulls. Okay, right. That's yeah. that. Okay, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, yeah. I'll try and find a blue bull for you. <laughs> See what I can do. Yeah. Uh, Kate. Hi, Ray. Hi, Kate. <laughs> what do you want? You're looking for a man. What kind of man are you looking for? A man in a suit. A man in a suit? Yeah, I do All like right. a man in a suit. Suit and booty, yeah. Looking well, Ray. Thank you very much, Kate. <laughs> uh, big ties. I'd, draw, I'd love a culty. Sorry, big ties? Yeah. All right, okay. I do like big ties. And you, you, you assume that all culties have big ties? Well, no, it'd be nice if they had the two. OK, culty yeah. and big, big ties. ties. Where are you from? Uh, Bettystown. You're from Bettystown in yeah. um, County Meath. Meath. Yeah. yeah. OK. And so you want a cold sheet with big ties? In a suit. In a suit. Yeah. Not a problem. That's fine. <laughs> I'm already searching through our database at the moment. Kate, I'm going to hook you up a little bit later on. Thank you. Eva or Ava? Eva. Eva? Yeah. Welcome to the show. Hello. Thanks. Will you give me a break? You're not single. I am. Why? Um, boys don't know a good thing when they find it. Clearly. <laughs> I, I think our audience can agree. What do you think, men? Yeah. <laughs> Are you sisters? We are. Oh, right, okay. So you're both yeah. single. Yeah. 
How many of you? Are you just the two girls in the family, or yeah, yeah. just the two of you? All right, okay. And you're yeah. both single. Mm -hmm. Your house must be insane with boys <laughs> calling up to the door. Take us out. Can we take them out? Can we take them out? And is it that you keep turning them down, or what? Um, they don't know our address. They don't know the address. Yeah, that's Just put it on the telly now. <laughs> Call up to Betty's Town. They're there, ready and waiting. Okay, let's go down this end and have a chat with Avril. Hello. Hey, Avril, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ray. You're single. I am. Looking for a man. Mm -hmm. Where are the boys going wrong for you? Well, that's the problem, mm. Ray. They are boys. I'm oh. looking for a real man. Okay. And that's it. That's it? Simple. Okay, is, is that, is that age-wise then or looks-wise? Both. Right, okay, yeah. so is there an age limit or a lower age limit for you? Oh, well, I don't want an old guy, but like, same age as me, 27, 26, 25. Yeah. Okay. I'm keep not getting, all yeah, those ages, keep, by the way. Getting lower. I'm not all of those ages, I'm 24, but within that age range. Yeah. Oh, well, it depends on how many drinks you've had, <laughs> and it could change one way or another. It can change. Uh, Flora, welcome to the show. Hi, Ray. What are you looking for in a man? Um, I just want a real guy, do you know, like a real rugged guy that's... Not afraid to get his hands dirty or to get a few slaps, you know, just a real... <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking domestic violence here? No, 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 just a real man that's not afraid, like, just... Okay. A guy's guy, you know what I mean? Not a pretty boy or anything like that. Boys, look out! There's punches coming your way later on if you take Fleur out. That's your warning. Okay, Fleur, that's not going to be a problem. We'll hook you up later. Jane! Oh, no, he's not talking me. <laughs> hey, welcome to the show. It's Jane C. Jane C. Jane C. Yeah. Right. What's the C for? Corcoran. What? Corcoran. Jane the Cork Girl. No, Corcoran. <laughs> oh, Corcoran. Sorry. Where are you from? Castlebar. Castlebar and County Mayo. Yeah. All right. Okay. And what are you looking for in a man, Jane? A hottie. A hottie? Yeah. Looks alone? Oh, yeah. Like, That's all that matters. Well, yeah. I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Oh, okay. You're here to enjoy yourself. Fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our ladies. I think we're gonna do all right here. All right, ladies, here's how it works. Each of our girls has a light on in front of them. When our boy comes through that door, he'll have three chances to impress. If they like what they see, they'll keep their lights turned on. And if they don't like what they see, they'll turn off their lights. Now, for example, if I was to say, my head looks like a melted Samuel Beckett waxwork. <laughs> and a few of our lights go off. I don't think we'll have a great date. Maybe we'll have a good date. And finally, I reveal I'm Eamon Dunphy. And it's a total blackout, and our man slinks back to the bar. That's how it works. Okay, lights back on, ladies. And girls, now it's time to play for real. Are you ready for your first man? Yeah! I think they're ready. Don't forget to listen to the music, girls, as the guys walk on, because they've chosen the tunes for themselves. If you're ready, I'm ready, let's do this thing, and bring on the boy! <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. Take it away, they're all yours. My name's Stephen, and I'm from Ennis. Stephen from Ennis in County Clare. Give it up for Stephen, everybody. <laughs> Stephen from Clare, ladies, the question, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> One gone. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's all right. I, I, can, I can live with that. A late smack in the face there, Stephen. It's all right. That's all right. Jesus, that's brilliant. First guy out of the traps for the second series, and you're looking good with 29 lights still on. That is fantastic news. You stay there, and I'm going to go have a fight on your behalf. <laughs> <laughs> you there. Hello. Hey, Claire. Uh, well, I have a little bit of news. I've been there and dated that already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? What? It's a small country. It's a small it's country. It's a very small country. Now, <laughs> obviously you're not together now, so speaking from experience, <laughs> is it worth the other girls while leaving their lights on? Um, 
Well, he's a nice guy, but he's friends with all his ex-girlfriends, so if that's a problem to other people, well then... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. He's still friends with you, though. Oh, yeah, he's a yeah, great guy. That's a good thing, then. Thanks. That's all right. OK. <laughs> Stephen, you've got 29 girls still in the game. You must be happy. Very. Don't get too big-headed now, OK? I'll try. That is a fantastic result, though, and it's time for round two. Ladies, take a look at this, and remember, if you think he's Mr. Right, leave on that light. <laughs> The term metrosexual, if you look up the dictionary, you probably see Stephen. Just he really takes care of himself a little bit too much, I'd say. But, uh, you know, he's a good guy. If Stephen decides he doesn't like a girl anymore, he will burn that bridge like there's no tomorrow and he'll just move on and forget about you. He'll be a, a memory, a distant memory. If he actually wants to spend time with a girl, he wants a girl with brains who he can talk to, who he can relate to. But at the moment, I haven't seen many girls that he connects to like that, so I think he's just on the lookout for a regular girl without brains who he can talk to. Oh! Ouch! Yeah. I'll have words with him after, it's OK. Who is that? Do you even know who he is? Never seen him before in my life. No. He's an imposter. Is he a friend of yours? Who is he? Yeah, he's a friend of mine. Yeah. What's his name? Casey. Casey? He's dead now. He's dead, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. OK. <laughs> 26 girls gone in that round, Stephen. Let's see what they were thinking. <clears throat> Cheryl, we lost you there. What happened? Um, just the thing about burning bridges with your exes, it's kind of immature. You it, should say it, friends when you've been with someone. But I thought, that's, that's what Claire that's, said. That's, that's the point. That, yeah? that was well, a lie. Oh, he, was, he, was, <laughs> he was fibbing there, yeah? He was really setting you up. Someone's telling lies. Because Claire is an ex of Stephen's, and Claire... I'm not, I'm no, not. I went on one date. Oh, you went on one date, yeah. all right. Well, you said, though, that he, he yeah, stays he in touch. Yeah, he does, he yeah. does. He'll tell you that himself. Yeah, that's he true. Does. So he doesn't burn bridges, No, then. so he's a liar. You're a man setting, <laughs> setting you up. Thanks, Claire. Dump him. He's your ex-friend. <laughs> uh, Roisin, your light's gone as well in that round. What did you see that <clears> you didn't like? When he said he was too clean. Mm-mm. Roll around in some mud, <laughs> come back. <laughs> all right, OK. OK. Well, Amy, lights off. Yeah. He looks after himself. I went out with someone who looked after himself too well. Too well, like, turn gay. But... <laughs> turn gay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, that's bad news. Yeah. It's all right, though. He's not gay anymore, like. It was just... Oh, is he? <laughs> it was just a phase. I think, I think he just told me to, like, to get rid of me. Really? <laughs> Stephen, you have to delete him from Facebook. All right, you've got three lights left remaining. One more chance to impress as you get flirty for 30. <clears throat> 30 seconds to wow our three remaining girls. Well, ladies, if you're feeling nothing, hit that button. OK, so I was going to give you some juicy details, but uh, I've been told that you're kind of a giddy bunch, so I'll just tone it down for the minute. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well timed, well timed. Um, do you know those guys that come up to you in a club and they're like, hey, how are you? You're, like, really beautiful, like, nice shoes. And then, like, just to seal the deal, they pinch you on the ass. I'm not one of those guys. I'm the guy that rescues my friends from those guys. That's it. <laughs> and that means we have a day! <laughs> you two, a date straight out of the traps. Molly and Stephen, you guys look lovely together. We do. Are you happy? Yeah, very happy. First girl to go on a date in the new series. You happy as well? Oh, yeah. Good stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to send you off on your date. You look like a smart couple. So, for your date, we wanted to send you somewhere that would tax your brain. Well, you're sure to get your head kicked in in... Shit! Yeah! on because I think he's absolutely gorgeous. He looks a bit like Shane Ward and he loves to be clean and I'm sure he's the type of guy that hoovers his bedroom. So that's my type of guy. Yeah, she seems like a really cool girl. Um, from the brief chat that I had, she seems really sweet, so we're just going to go out, grab a beer now and see if we've anything in common. And we'll see how those two get on next week. OK, folks, that hair's not going to straighten itself, so we'll be right back after this. <laughs> Welcome 
welcome back. In part one, we saw Stephen take Molly out, and that means we get to welcome a new girl. Say hello, everybody, to Angela! <laughs> hey, Angela. Hey, Ray. <laughs> welcome to the show. What can I do for you? What are you looking for in a man? I want... Listen now, Ray. I'm listening. I want a mix between Cesc Fabregas, Cristiano Ronaldo, and Joe Cole. But right. I don't want them to be a footballer. Oh. Because you know what they've been up to lately, do you know? Exactly, yeah. Okay, <laughs> text messages and yeah. the likes, yeah, messing exactly. around. Okay. Uh, so you don't want a footballer, but you want three footballers? Yes, Yeah, exactly. fair enough, okay. <laughs> right. Angela, welcome to the show. I'll do my very best for you. Thank I you. think we're going to get lucky with you. Ooh. Welcome to the show, Angela. I think it's time for our next man. Girls, shall we? Yeah! Okay, unleash the beast and bring on the boy! <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. They're all yours. Knock them dead. Hi, my name is Damien. I'm from Lavin County Mead. Damien from me. <laughs> Ladies, you turned on or turned off? <laughs> okay, 11 girls gone, Damien. 19 yeah. remaining. Forget those 11. They're not worth it, man. Shh. They're not worth it. Forget <laughs> them. Ancient history. Let's go and have a chat with them and see what happened or what they were thinking. Cheryl. Ray, he looks like a mortgage advisor. Oh, <laughs> Going on a date, I feel like I was in the bank oh. talking about my lack of finances. <laughs> Jessica, your light's off. Tell me why. Yeah, because he's got a bit of a fluffy thing going on on the top of his head and also beard rash. Beard her It just does come off. Like, I can shave yeah, it. Just shave it. <laughs> it's not permanent. <laughs> Damien, you've got 19 girls with their lights still on. 19 girls still interested in you, sir. That is a fantastic result at the end of round one. And heading into round two, let's see what they make of this as you get flirty for 30. 30 seconds to impress our ladies. And remember, girls, if you think he's Mr. Right, leave on that light. Okay, ladies. A lot of people think that I'm never around or hang out with my friends and stuff. I do have several jobs. I'm a DJ, I'm a radio presenter, I'm an event manager, and I'm also a trainee sound engineer. I also have my own company. But I promise, if you hold out for me, there'll be lots of romantic and exciting times. All right, wow, harsh. You're busy and they don't like that. Mm. 15 girls gone and four remaining. Let's get out and have a chat and see what the hell is wrong with some of our girls. Tanya. You're a DJ, event manager, yeah. so I think you should have really come out in, you know, your Jeans, regular gear. Jeans, t-shirt. Yeah, just show off your personality in your dress. When, Sorry. when did I get a dress? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's get some good news. Ashling's light is still on. <laughs> um, yeah, he seems like he kind of self-driven, like he works hard. I like to work hard too, I like play hard. Mm -hmm. But um, he's a DJ, say an engineer. It's not like Giddy, he is a mortgage advisor. It's fun jobs, like it's yeah. sounds cool. Yeah. Seems like a cool guy. I'm not good oh. with numbers anyway, so. <laughs> not good with numbers, okay, that's fine. Uh, Lauren, you left your light on as well in that I round. Did. Um, I get bored quite easily, so with the amount of jobs that he does have, it's good because there's like so much that he could come in and say, oh, I've done this today, I've done that today, or I want to come to this, I want to go to that, we're going to do this. So, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Damien, we've got four girls left, four girls still interested, and you're still in the game, and you've got one more chance to impress our ladies with a little tune. Take it away, Damien, and ladies, is he the man of your dreams, or is this the stuff of nightmares? <laughs> whole new world, a brand new world. Oh. Dude, that's such a lovely sweet song to be singing for our ladies as well. Let's yeah. get out and find what turned our girls off. Lauren, why did you turn off yours? I hate karaoke. <laughs> karaoke? <laughs> he knew the words off by heart. Yeah, but like it just sounded a bit of a karaoke tune. Not your cup of tea, no? Sorry. That's the one from Aladdin, isn't it? It is. That's oh, a great film. How dare you? <laughs> Ashling, lights off, why? I don't think I know any other DJs that like Disney songs. <laughs> I do, I do, I do. Hands up, love them. 
I don't Thank know, Nate. It's a bit too childlike. Hmm. Oh, Sorry. okay. Give him an awe, everybody, and a round of applause, please. <laughs> Come here, you. Oh, I'm sorry, that's <laughs> good. Sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Damien. I think they didn't like to, the fact that people think I'm too busy, but I always try to make time for, well, not try, I do make time for anyone that I'm seeing, and uh, I think it's just the, the, the kind of impression that I give off that I'm a very busy man, showing up in a suit when I should be kind of arriving casual jeans, t-shirt, runners, but uh, they're lost, really. <laughs> OK, folks, those legs aren't going to stretch themselves, so we'll be right back. <laughs> Before the break, Damien got the thumbs down from our girls and we had a total blackout. Aww. Don't worry about him, he's fine. <laughs> now it's time to meet our next man. Are you ready, ladies? <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Unwrap that chap and bring on the boy! <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. They're all yours. Take it away. Hi, girls. My name is Robbie, and I'm from Cork. Robbie from Cork. <laughs> well, ladies, are you turned on or turned off? OK, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Seven girls with their lights off in that round. 23 remaining. That's not a bad result at all. Catherine, tell me why you turned off your light. It looks a little bit too young for me. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. OK. Age range is what are you looking for? Tortyish. I need someone mature and well able to look after me. OK. I just think I'd have to look after him. Well, that him. can be sorted out as well, you know. I can look after him. <laughs> yeah, well, in, a stick different, in a different way, I mean, you know. In a different... Oh, oh. <laughs> can I fix this? Too late. Your light is off, Catherine. Avril, you turned off your light on us. I Why? Did. Not to add to it, but he's just not tall enough. <laughs> oh, OK. I'm sorry. There's a theme developing here, dude. Um, Ellen, you left your light on? I did indeed, Ray. Um, I, I like his style, kind of a cocky confidence going on, and the quirk accent is just delicious. So. Oh, <laughs> that's, it. that's good news. <laughs> um, Roisin, your light is still on. Yes, it is. <laughs> I like him. Now, don't be getting my hopes up, because in the last round, you were all like, yeah, 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 and the second round, that was it. We lost you then. But once he doesn't sing... Uh, <laughs> I think you might be impressed with the next round, actually, Roisin. Stick around. Alwyn, you left your light on for us as well. Why is your light still shining? He has got fabulous shoulders. Check out those shoulders. <laughs> you know, protective shoulders. Makes and up for the height, you know. I hate wearing heels, and he'd look really tall beside me in flats. <laughs> Spot on. <laughs> all right, all right. He's <laughs> nice to be Good man, Robbie. Look at those shoulders, yeah. <laughs> 23 lights still shining for you, my friend. That is a great result. And you have another chance to impress our ladies. Now, he has to go off and get changed. Off you go, that away. Give it up for Robbie, everybody. <laughs> okay, now, ladies. Let's keep this clear. Don't vote until I tell you to vote. Step away from those buzzers and give a warm round of applause and welcome back to Robbie. <laughs> Right, so girls, a bit of a free um, self-defence lesson for you. For every night out, you need to get your way out of a sticky situation. This might help, so... OK, first one. <laughs> a guy grabs you as hard as he can with two arms. Simple one, OK? Clap your hands and twist. You're out, OK? Ah. Second one. Put that one in here. Not by me. OK? This is a bit more complex, but... Work it out, OK? Pop down, elbow. Oh! <laughs> 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 Can we just 
a member of the audience. <laughs> that was just a member of the audience. Okay. Remember, ladies, what do you think of that? Remember, ladies, if you're feeling nothing, hit that button. Okay, 11 lights off, but 12 still on. But how many will you have on at the end of our third round? You've got 30 seconds to impress our girls, 30 seconds for them to turn off their lights. Will they be impressed? It's flirty for 30. And ladies, could it be magic or is he just tragic? Well, girls, regardless of the comments about the shortness and all, you're all looking lovely, okay? I can't fault you in that. So, well, I'm a real sporty guy. Love sport, okay? I play soccer, rugby, but of course, my main passion is karate. I'm proud to say I'm a black belt and a European champion. I'm currently signed to be a PE teacher in Cork, so maybe, you know, I could teach one of you a thing or two later on. Oh! Six girls gone. Well done, sir. Six girls gone, six girls remaining. And with those six girls remaining, that means he's got a daze! Yeah! <laughs> Let's get out there and see what some of those ladies did not like. Danielle? Yeah. Everything was looking so good! It was, it was looking really good, but then, you know, with all those sports and trainings, like, where's the time for me? <laughs> yeah, I suppose, yeah. Do, do you have a lot of spare time that you could spend with Danielle? Loads of spare time, you see. Oh. And would you make time as well? well of course yeah. it would, yeah. yeah for a girl who looks uh... as good as that, of course it would. You know? <laughs> Too late now! <laughs> <laughs> Robbie, you have six girls remaining and you've made it to the final round. That means you'll definitely get a date tonight. But now it's decision time, and it's time to whittle. Now, the power is in your hands. Okay. You have to whittle it down from six girls to just two. Get out there and turn off four lights and leave two lights remaining. Audience, give him a hand. Who should he go for? Applause. Come back here. Sorry. Well done, sir. Well done. Robbie, you've left Cheryl's light on and Ashling's light on. Why did you leave those two girls in the game? Because they're nice girls and they're gorgeous. You know, I can't. Yeah? No complaints there. Now, our girls know everything they need to know about you. And now here's your chance to find out something about them. One question and one question only between two of our girls. Ask away, Robbie, and good luck. So. If you had the chance to invent anything you thought the world needed, what would it be and why? Okay, inventions. Cheryl, the tough one. <laughs> um, I'm not much at DIY. I wouldn't be great at making it, but I think I'd make um, a duplicator so I could have two or more of you. Ah! <laughs> Good answer. Ashley. Um, well, you know when you're on holidays, mm -hmm. things get a bit hot. I might make like a cooler bag kind of sleeping bag, so keep you nice and cool when it's, you know. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, human cloning or a practical cooler bag. Great, okay. <laughs> that's your choice, Robbie. And before you make your final decision, I need to tell you that one of our girls likes to burst other people's spots. <laughs> uh, get out there. And turn one off and take one out. <laughs> Give him a hand. Who should he go for, audience? What do you think? Ladies. If you think Cheryl and Ashley, whose light is he going to turn off? Who's, who's he going to take out? <laughs> oh, well done. Come over here, you. <laughs> Come here, you. <laughs> Ashley and Robbie. <laughs> la you two look lovely together. I'm delighted. You happy? I'm happy. Good stuff, Robbie. Delighted, yeah. Delighted. Great result. I can reveal that Cheryl is the one who likes to burst other people's spots. And Ashling is blessing herself, saying, thank God he didn't reveal it was me. <laughs> Lads, you're heading off on the date of your dreams tonight. I want you to think of the romantic paintings of the old masters. Well, if it's an old master you're after, it's grab a granny night in Shifter! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Thank God that's over, guys. I left my light on because, like, he's a karate expert. Like, he doesn't like that. He's going to look after a girl. Like, definitely. Always winning. I picked Ashley's light like, because she's gorgeous and she seems like she's up for a laugh. So I hope the date goes as well as out there did. Well, we get some other results. We'll see how they got on next week. And, folks, we'll be right back after these. <laughs> Back in the last round, we matched Robbie and Ashling. Well, that means we've got a brand new friend. Say hello, everybody, to Sarah. <laughs> hey, Sarah. Hello, Raymond. Hello, hello, Sarah. <laughs> Very officious. Uh, welcome to the show. Thanks. You're looking for a man. What kind of man are you looking for, Sarah? Well, I love Donica O'Callaghan and a bit of Jamie Oliver on the side. The lisp, you know. Okay. So you want a lovely <laughs> player who can cook. Yeah, or Tommy Bow. I'll settle for Tommy Bow. Okay. Yeah, perfect. S settle for him, okay. Yeah. That is? Yeah. Not asking too Not much. Fussy, yeah. We've got two Sarahs next to each other as well. Ooh, yeah. Sarah and Sarah. Sarah and Sarah D. What's the D for? Downs. Downs. Sarah Downs. Okay. Down. Welcome Sarah Downs to the show, everybody. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's time to meet our next man. Are you ready, girls? Yeah. Are you ready, girls? Yeah. More like it. Synchronize watches and bring on the boy. <laughs> Welcome to the show, sir. They're all yours. Take it away. Ladies, my name is Ty, and I'm from the United States. Ah. That's Ty from the U.S. of A. But ladies, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> oh, okay. Twenty gone, but ten still remaining. Ten girls still interested. Ty, welcome to the show, sir. You looking for a lady? <laughs> I thought I was, yeah. Hey, oh, whoa, whoa, there's still ten on. We'll have a chat with some of the girls who turned off their lights. Avril, you turned off your light there on us. Why? Yeah, his trousers are just so short. <laughs> They're really short. And like he's not even that tall. I don't. Anyway. But I got the shoes right. No comment. <laughs> and Sarah, down this end, new girl, she left her light on. She's interested. Yeah. Well, he's from the United States, so he could be the big apple of my eye. Oh. <laughs> You got ten girls left. Sarah D likes what she sees, and so do a lot of our other ladies as well. You're still in the game. Ladies, take a look at this, and would you kiss him or would you diss him? I'm 30 years old. I live in Dublin, and I'm currently working as a regional manager for American Airlines. It is insane the amount of time I travel with my job. I'm literally on a plane every six weeks. I like to go. I like to party. There is... Total blackout. Completely unfair and out of line. Let's have a chat with a few of our ladies and see what they're thinking. Jackie, we lost you there. What happened? I thought I would give him a chance. Um, I was a little bit doubtful in the beginning too, but I thought I'd give him a chance because he looked real cool and calm and collected, but the whole bar thing and the party thing, I don't know, takes a little bit too far for me. Oh, okay. Well, he likes to socialise. We're going to be sending you to a nightclub later on. <laughs> um, you work for uh, American Airlines. I do. As a regional manager. Mm -hmm. Jackie. Free flights. <laughs> Hello. It came can with the package. It, can I put it back on? No, too late. Sarah D, you're in. Oh, I didn't know he's 30. I'm only a baby. How old are you? I'm only 19. 19? Yeah. Well, okay, right. Too much of an age difference for you. Yeah, sorry. Fair enough. I'll have to accept it. Over this side, Kleena. Definitely the age thing. Really? Yeah, oh, 30. Gosh. No wonder he's bald like. <laughs> I think he shaves his head, Tina. Oh, yeah? I don't Too know. Harsh. I don't know. Very harsh. Give him an eye, everybody. Aww. Dude, come here. <laughs> Little cuddle from me. Hello, uh, I'm from Boca. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good man. Give him a round of applause. It's Ty, everybody. <laughs> That 
was terrible. <laughs> well, I think there were two biological problems that I couldn't help. <laughs> Height and um, my, I would say almost choice of hair, but it's not a choice, so it, it is what it is, I guess. Ah, oh, poor old Ty. Well, if he didn't do a few ladies, we'll just have to try again. Would you like another man? Yeah. God love him. Are you ready, girls? Yeah. In that case, unleash the beast. Welcome to the show, sir. What an entrance. Take it away. They're all yours. Good evening, ladies. My name is Dara, and I'm from Cork. Dara from Cork. <laughs> and girls, are you turned on or turned off? <laughs> oh, 24 lights gone. Dara, you don't listen to them. No. They don't know what they're talking about. I'm going to go out here and see what the hell is wrong with them. Cheryl, you turned off on that round. Yeah, I don't get why you're wearing a kilt if you're from Cork. You're half Scottish. Oh, he's half Scottish. Yeah, yeah oh. you're a little bit old as well, and the eyebrows are a bit thick. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Settle down, Cheryl. All right. Uh, Fleur, you turned off your light there. Um, I don't like bodily hair, like the chest, chest hair. Chest hair. All right. Okay. That is. Oh, and the hole in the sock as well. <laughs> oh, he's a hole in the sock. Yeah. Okay. But you don't mind the kilt, and it all looks good. Yeah, he looks good, yeah. Yeah? Angela, we lost you there. Yeah, um, like, we're both from Cork, mm. and we're walking down Patrick Street. Yeah. <laughs> and my friend saw me. <laughs> walking past pennies. With a man in a skirt. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't think it would be very proper. Wouldn't go down very well, no. no not with not your at all, OK, no. fair enough. Stephanie, you turned off your light. I did. He looks like he's going to break into dance, and already I don't want to see it, so... <laughs> Just getting out of here just quick. preempting yeah. what might be on the way. Alwyn, Alwyn, Alwyn. I'm it's a no, no, no. I had myself completely worked up. I was pure excited seeing the socks, seeing yeah. the skirt. No, don't get me weird. Like, the kids, the kids, No, because, yeah. like, the biggest turn on for me is the Scottish man, right? Yeah. So I was ready for this, right? I got this totally bland Cork accent. And I feel bad now because she says you're half Scottish, but I want all Scottish or nothing, right? 100%. <laughs> okay. Sisters Eva and Kate are still in. Ladies, you like what you see. He looks like fun, right? Yeah? Yeah. But if he whips out some bagpipes, the button's going down. OK, <laughs> we'll bear that in mind. Kate? Looks like you might have nice ties under there. Ah, yeah. <laughs> She's chasing nice ties. All right, that's all good news. And Dara, you've got six girls left in the game. You made it through round one, six remaining in round two. And how will those six feel after you get flirty? For 30. 30 seconds to impress him, and girls, if he's Mr. Right, leave on that light. Right, ladies, just about myself. For the last five years, I've been a special needs care assistant working with severe intellectual disabilities. Prior to that, I served five years in the Irish Army. I'm a traditional Irish musician. I'm a traditional Irish musician two or three nights a week, and I said I'm from Blairney, so if you keep your lights on, ladies, hopefully I'll bring you back to the Blairney Stone. All right, five girls gone in that round with one remaining. Let's see, will she be impressed with your performance here? One more chance to impress Katie. Away you go, sir. But Katie, is he the man of your dreams, or is this the stuff of nightmares? Right, ladies, I need a bit of assistance here, so could you make a clap, please? Total blackout. What are you, what are you thinking? What like, happened? I'm sorry, my brother plays tin whistle and it's just a nightmare. Like, <laughs> sorry, I... I'm sorry. You're very cute with the whistle. I can't deal with it. Can't deal oh, with the tin whistle. Right. What a shame. <laughs> Dara, I'm really sorry to say it. They didn't suit you tonight. Come here, give us a call. <laughs> okay, Whatever happens... Oh, steady on, man. Steady on. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies, you're far too harsh. He's a lovely guy. He's a catch. Give it up, everybody, for Dara. I think the 
the accident was a big problem for the girls. They're, they're not into the Cork accident. They've booted off a lot of uh, Cork boys over the season. So I'm just another one of them. Oh, well, that's all we've got time for. Tonight, we sent Stephen and Molly off on their date, as well as Robbie and Ashley. And next time, we'll find out if there's any love in the air. And what about the rest of our girls? Well, I'm not going to stop trying until I find each of these beautiful ladies a date. So I'll see you next time. And take me out. Yeah.